Hey, this is Part 64 Guy, and I've got a, another activity I'm working on here. Uh, let me show you the patient. Okay, what we have here is a little wonder blower. It's a kind of older piece of equipment here. And the symptom is no compression. So what happened here is I made the mistake of lending this out, and the person I lent it out to, who will remain nameless, did not keep checking the oil. As a result, they ran it dry and seized the engine. So, broke it free and we have no compression. What I'm gonna be doing is a transplant here. I picked up a Predator uh, 212cc overhead valve engine. And I also picked up a, off of Amazon, a three quarter to one inch shaft adapter uh, with key. So, I'll provide the links to that stuff. Uh, in this video. Alright, one thing you definitely want to make sure you do is take a look, record where everything goes, uh, taking the bolts out, so it's a matter of just getting this guy out the rest of the way. Okay, I got the engine off. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray this down. And we'll let the uh, cleaner do its work here. Decrease that. Uh, this is now cleaned up. It is prepared for the engine, the new engine to go on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that guy out of the box and get him bolted on. So we're gonna take a look in here. Our manual. Let's see here, it's not bad. Alright, so I got the engine out of the box here. So before we get going here, let me take a look here. So this guy comes with a three quarter inch shaft and a key. Now, I can't use this because if we look at the working end here, the impeller on the blower, this has a one inch diameter with the uh, key kind of already jammed in there. So what I bought was this adapter and it's got a tapered key. So the goal here is we're gonna pop this guy out. There we go. Okay, pop that guy out. This guy's gonna fit in here nice and snug. This guy is going to slide right over. I now have a one inch shaft equivalent. I got to get the old key out of here. So, what I did is I sprayed some PB Blaster on there, let it saturate, soak in, and I'm just going to give this guy a couple of wax. Looks like it slid. Trying to be careful, I don't want to damage the uh, impeller. Alright, there we go. So, unfortunately, I didn't have an assistant to hold the camera while I was installing the shaft adapter. Uh, it did take quite a bit of effort, a lot of harsh language. I ended up using a block of wood and a hammer to persuade the shaft adapter into the impeller. Got the key installed as well at the same time so that's all set uh, now i want to check the balance on the impeller it's an older leaf blower pretty heavy metal impeller if it's out of balance it's going to put a lot of stress on the crankshaft uh, i don't want that so a friend of mine suggested getting a motorcycle wheel balancer so that's what i purchased over at harbor freight and i'm going to set that up and show you the balancing process this device is actually pretty simple it's a stand with a couple of low rolling resistance bearings and rollers with the shaft and a couple of conical anchors that you sandwich the object to be balanced between and you just roll it uh, to varying 
locations to make sure it doesn't self uh, regulate back to another position. That's going to indicate that there's a heavier weight on one side and it's going to try to find equilibrium. And as you can see, it is out of balance because it's now moving on its own to find equilibrium. So it looks like the bottom half near these two fins, these two veins, is heavier than the top. So if I bring this up here, we should see it rotate back. And sure enough. So I need to remove a little bit of material from... I'm going to move just... I'm going to take just a few file strokes from each of these uh, veins here and see if that solves the problem. guy here standard holes line up. I'll get him wound up here. I'll I'm gonna leave it loose and fine-tune the um, positioning as I go uh, once I get the impeller on there to make sure the impeller is centered. But first we'll get all this stuff on here. It's a little tight. Well, the key thing is patience. And if you have to invent some new uh, create a colorful language. Go for it. Make it nice and easy. I want to over torque these either you don't want to break the you don't want to break the crankcase. Okay, so the next fun part now is to put the blower housing and the impeller on. Unfortunately, these have to go on together because the shape of the impeller is such that it will not fit through the rectangular opening except at an angle, which means I don't have enough room to get it onto the crankshaft. So I'm going to have to line these up together, and then what is going to happen is there are eight bolts that will stick through the frame and those will get fastened in place with these eight nuts. So, so we're going here. Going here. And stay up through it all. Add put all the bolts on. check the distance here from the cage to the impeller and it's good I got about a quarter of an inch a little over a quarter of an inch and I've got about a quarter of an inch between the impeller and the front metal as well so this is centered in there pretty well so I had to go pick up a new bolt and here you can see it here compared to the old one uh, the old one was for the one inch shaft this is for the three quarter inch shaft it was a this is a five sixteenths uh, bolt 24 thread and then I put the original parts back on it. So this is ready to install. Okay. 
Uh, I don't have any specs on this guy, so I just, I set my uh, torque wrench to something I figured would be a reasonable amount, so I got about 175 inch pounds on that. There's one last issue I've got to deal with, and that's the fact that the muffler hits the blower housing. So I have to make a little modification to the muffler. So first we're going to start by taking apart, taking the heat shield off the muffler. So, I don't have any fancy tools, so I'm going to do it the simplest way I know. Now you can see here, the gasket's now seated, so now we can put the retainer bolts back on. So with everything in the way here, I'm using a socket with a universal and some extensions so I can actually get this thing tight. And then for this one, just because it's easier to reach, I'll just hit it with the wrench. And that's all secure. So, muffler's on. There we go. gas in it, put oil in it, set the ignition on, set the throttle to about eh, half, turn the choke on, fuel valves on. The beast lives. Uh, you notice what I did here also is the old foam was pretty well shot on the handle, so I just took some uh, pipe wrap and uh, stuck a piece on there. So definitely, definitely cuts down on the vibration quite a bit. Uh, because the throttle is actually on the Predator engine, uh, I can take this guy off as well. Doesn't need to have that on there anymore. And that's it. Well, that concludes this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed finishing it. Uh, if you have any suggestions how I can make my videos better, please leave a comment in the section below. And if you like what you see and want to see more, subscribe to my channel and I'll feed you projects as I get to them. Once again, thank you very much for watching. 
This is Part 64 guy. See you next time.